Hey, what's up, everybody? How we all doing? Uh, where did I set my phone up? You're finally around for a stream. What's up, Charlotte? You look like a history. I look more like a teacher today. I thought I looked like a teacher the other day. Hey, Zach. My day's good. I forgot that it was going to be daylight savings, and I stayed up pretty late last night. So I am a, am a wee am a wee a wee tired lass. Not that tired. Just a smidge. How you guys doing? Where does the hour go? That's what I want to know. Where does it, where does it go? But where? What's that TikTok audio? I think it's like a Kardashian audio. Audio, but it's like, but where? But where? Hey, Karen Bear, thanks for, thanks for the follow, friend. Yeah, let me get the, the music just right for me. What's up, Nadia, Mac, Daria? Abolish daylight saves. I mean, I like that we are going to get an extra hour of daylight. I just don't like losing an hour of sleep. Also, where's RoboCow? Oh, I logged out of everything. You look sick. Are you fine? <laughs> what, what the? <laughs> this is not a nice thing to say. I'm not sick. I guess I just look gross. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding around, Mac. I know you didn't mean it like that. Um, I did. I did just wake up, so that's probably it. Thought I slept super late, but nope. Got the same amount of sleep. Yeah. I fucking I had to I had to delete all of my cookies and stuff and it's so does anyone else hate like re-logging into every single freaking thing? Also, what is my I don't know what my Discord login is. Who knows what their Discord logger is? Okay, I got it. What's up, Susie? Late start was just me being bamboozled. Yeah, we got straight up bamboozled today, friends. We got hecka bamboozled. we talk about today friends what are we playing today that's a good question maybe little nightmares maybe the walking dead eating pie oh it's pie day totally didn't realize it was pie day Nadia, thank you for gifting a subscription why is it not um making any noise I don't want to know. Why do I feel like, why do I feel like uh, Daylight Savings just broke everything? It's Pi Day. All right, let me, um. You know what? There we go. I think we're going to be friends. <laughs> Nadia, thank you for gifting a subscription to Shay, oh, Shay Roink, Shay Roink, Shay Roink. What's up, Landa? I always say Landa, but I'm also sure it could be Londa. What up, Pam? So what's up, Matt? I'm just chatting today. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, we're just gonna 
feel that. We might just chat today. We might we'll probably play a game. Consider yourself lucky I interrupted my Mad Men rewatch for that. Dang. I do feel lucky. Who can, who can compete with Donald uh, Drake? What's his, what's his actual name? Or actually, I guess I don't want to spoil it for anyone that hasn't seen it. What's his actual name again? I guess it's been long enough. This has been long enough that it doesn't really matter, right? Can't just say hey, can't stay. Sounds good, Sean. Have a good time. What's the jazz song? This is not jazz. This is this is lo-fi. Dick Whitman. There it is. Dick Whitman. Stream delay is real. Yeah, I bet it is. Welcome, Ange. Yeah, I'm missing you guys in a hot sec. Thanks, Sparkle. I appreciate that. <laughs> I was looking for like cute lo-fi mixes that just made me feel good about life, you know? Aren't we all just looking for cute lo-fi mixes that make us feel good about life? I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to tweak the camera. Don't look at my face. Don't look, don't look at it. Get out of here. You knew what you were doing with the notification message? <laughs> What's up, Bixie? How you doing? How are things going with you? Kind of hard not to. <laughs> Lo-fi is so common for your brain. I agree. Lo-fi just like triggers something like biochemical. Too, Sean. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, I was not. I was not prepared to lose an hour. I was not prepared. You're not slick. <laughs> I actually don't know what you're talking about. But I'm gonna. I'm gonna pretend like I know what I was doing. I'm just gonna go with it. Lo-fi genre is it's brought a good it's brought good national songs back with remixes. Okay. Yeah, we're we're only gonna listen to the national national anthem lo-fi mixes. It's a bit hard when you have to wake up at 6 30 tomorrow. Yeah, same. You know what? Same. Well right. six. But six, six thirty, similar. XOXO, Haribo, XOXO. That's a fun name to say. Thank you for the prime. Welcome. Welcome. So being here. I have no plan today. I have no plan for us, friends. How am I doing? I'm doing good, Ange. I'm I'm a little tired. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I feel like I usually usually by 11 a.m. I have my shit together, but uh, usually by much earlier. But losing the hour and staying up late. So I'm gonna drink. I'm gonna drink this tea. Guys, what if we just sat here and just watched all of Gilmore Girls? How many seasons is it? How long would it take? You know, there's a website that will take you tell you how long would it take to watch. It'll it'll tell you like how long it'll take to watch you watch things. Kind of tease it. Uh, it's mint tea with some honey in it. Playing some paladins. Nice. All right, binge clock. That's what it's called. Uh, okay, Gilmore. Gilmore Girls. How long would it take us to binge Gilmore Girls? Six days and 11 hours. Six days and 11 hours. This is only the 546th longest binge. We never got around to it. Uh, we lost an hour. G Gilmore Girls is the kind of show that's like has been on around me in my life a few times to where I'm like familiar enough with it. And enjoy it, but I've never like sat down and like watched it start to finish like of my own accord. Only six days? That's six full days. That's like if the TV turned on and it never stopped. What is the longest? Let's check. What's the longest bin watch? Uh, 
I guess a show a show called Guiding Light. What the heck is Guiding Light? Has everyone anyone ever heard of this? It's a 1952 soap opera. Hey Victoria, thanks for extending your tier one through May. Appreciate that. I'm doing well, Sophia. How are you doing? So I guess a show called Guiding Light is the first binge, or longest binge. And then the CBS Late movie. It, as the world turns, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't count soap operas. Off for my dinner, hopefully. See you guys later on. Have a great stream, Zach throwing kisses. <laughs> See you later, Victoria. Thanks, thanks for the, uh, thanks for the seven months. That's wild to me. It's so wild. I enjoy enjoy your dinner. General Hospital, all my children. The Price is Right. Okay, four hundred and six days. The Young and the Restless. It's just gonna be. It's just gonna be a bunch of. Uh... Ooh, Sesame Street. I would. That would be a. That'd be a strange form of torture, our huh, friends. Supernatural. Yeah, totally. Here, let's check Supernatural. Thirteen days. That's twice, twice as long as Gilmore Girls. What about One Piece? One Piece is gigantic. Sixteen days. What about Fairy Tale? Oh, Fairy Tale is way shorter than I thought it was. Because the clocks went back. Yeah, I guess I should have like prepped you guys. <laughs> But I forgot. Gave up on One Piece. Yeah, I got about like 150 episodes in. Doctor Who. Oh yeah, Doctor Who is probably a long one as well. Anyone show? on TikTok. So it'll be, hey, thanks for being here, fandom screen. We appreciate when people on TikTok jump over to Twitch. Thanks for being here, fandom. You're one of the real ones. Just passive aggressive bullying. Ooh, this this song is this song is hitting diff. This song is called Granny by Ashitika. If I had the guts, I would do it at your videos, but I don't. Oh, you totally should. Just for fun. Just for funsies. Geometry teacher at my school who was on a soap opera for a few episodes. Yeah. They need a lot of people, so. Isn't it crazy to think about is like how many people are like out in the world that have just like been in a few movies or episodes of stuff and then just went like meh <laughs> anime vibes yeah I think so. yeah it does as well followed your tiktok for a while I absolutely love them you're so amazing I'm happy I found you your active challenges always make me happy and inspire me to be hey thanks thanks for that XO Haribo Haribo Did I say that right I appreciate I appreciate the nice comment and thanks for being here Eduardo! Eduardo, thank you for the gifted subscription. I don't know why it said you subscribed over gift. But thank you for Caring Bear One. How you doing, Ed? I've watched anime before. This music is relaxing. Anime is a great genre. There's so many different types of anime. Happy Sunday, Kazoo Kid. <laughs> we have a lot of fun alerts. We have a lot of fun alerts. Guys, do I have a command command? Oh, nice. Guys, I finally, I uploaded like a fuck, like a fuck ton of streams yesterday because I had been behind because I, I always forget to like upload my streams at night because it takes freaking forever. 
So next week, guys, I'm going to be dropping. I'm going to be dropping fucking streams like crazy. I got a lot of copyright claims. I oh, know. Oh no, lo-fi, lo-fi ain't uh, passing the test. Oh shit. I didn't realize I clicked, uh, clicked off the music. Please disregard, okay. Hey, what's up, Rach? Loving the new alerts. Oh, I'm glad, buddy, appreciate it. Just walk into anime topic time. We can talk about anime. I still haven't watched the newest season of Attack on Titan, which I need to. Oh my god, freaking, this is how crazy YouTube is. Guys, we literally play the Star Wars Cantina song for like 10 seconds. It's like a sound alert and it catches it. At base when you don't like or watch anime. Sorry about it. I don't know if I have a favorite anime of all time. I mean, what got me into anime when I was like a little boy was like Dragon Ball Z... Uh, and then like Naruto because back then you had to watch it on Toonami so I would just I would just watch whatever was on that night you know with Toonami so it would be like Cowboy Bebop Inuyasha um, what is it R Ryo Ten Kenshin the like long haired samurai guy and then there's also the guy that would like shoot with his fingers thanks for the lurk Ashley Attack on Titan is new babe bro Tag on Titan is a great one. Uh, Toonami's a throwback, yeah. I think Toonami's technically still going on. I want to get back into it. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is up there. Um, obviously, Avatar, The Last Airbender, but that's, I guess, like an American anime, so I guess a cartoon. Yu Yu Hakusho, there it is. Ooh, yeah, Sailor Moon's a throwback. And watch Jetix? I did not know. Um, I've been wanting to go back and watch I tried to I wanted to go back and watch like Dragon Ball Z Kai because it's like remastered and stuff and you don't have to watch like 10 episodes of lights every <laughs> every fight sounds good tea tree thanks thanks for being here enjoy your enjoy your lurking and study you like the OG full metal of a brotherhood wow Ange, that's crazy that's nuts. I don't think a lot of people will agree with you there. I don't think a lot of people will agree with that. Jetix before King Disney. I don't even know what Jetix is, guys. Also, peep the cozy fit today. Yeah. Nice sweater, some jeans. We're mad, we're mad cozy today. We're M-A-D cozy. Favorite cartoon? I don't know what Puke is or Jetix. Like the OP and Ed's better. Hmm. It just, it uh, differentiates from the manga. That's my main issue. Zach, if you want, I've got Funimation Premium. Yeah, I want that, bro. Let me get on that mooch train, baby. Let me get on that motherfucking mooch train, dude. I'll, I'll, I'll trade you my crunchy roll if you like. Uh, but be warned, I like, I am like constantly like disabling and re-enabling my crunchy roll depending on how much anime I'm watching <laughs> that month. Dripping with the cozy Kiki's delivery service. That's a good one. Wait, you're early. Yeah, sorry, Alex. I forgot to mention because um, I, I think I think different countries do daylight savings at different times, right? Because the UK does British summertime, but you're not. You only do daylight savings in summer, right? You go to you go from G GMT to BST, right?
I'm thinking of changing the schedule, guys, but I'm still trying to figure out what I want it to be. It wouldn't be next week, but maybe the following week. I'm thinking maybe doing like... Uh, we're an hour ahead, Alex, so we started like 20 minutes ago, 25 minutes ago. Um, yeah, I meant to warn everybody. What's up? What's up, Abu? Abu Bakr? Say that right? Um... But I'm thinking, I'm thinking of, of changing the schedule a little bit. We'll see. Hey, what's up, D? How you doing? Uh, we're just hanging out on Twitch right now, but I appreciate you stopping by. Hope you're doing well. Um, I'm thinking maybe like a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, guys, and I might try. I kind of want to try a week of like early days every single day, and then I kind of want to try a week of like late night streams every day. So, we'll see. Good to see you here. You too, D. I'm glad you're doing well. Do you guys still have snow? I think you're like, you're out east, right? Oh! Good thing there's daylight savings, guys, because I almost forgot to freaking do my um, invoice again. <laughs> Why does this always happen? Every two weeks, we're like live streaming, and I'm like, I totally forgot to do my invoice. Daylight Savings UK happens around March 28th, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly. Sorry, my, eh, no worries, Alex. All right, don't mind me, guys. Don't mind me, just gonna, just gonna real quick submit an invoice so your boy gets paid. Otherwise, how's he gonna pay rent? <laughs> Although... Okay, here it is, cool. First time here, seems great. Hey, well, thanks, Clara, thanks for jumping out. I think it's the last Sunday of March when the clock changes in the UK. Well, we, Sundays, we typically stream at 11 a.m. Pacific time. So if you are, if you are not in the US, I guess it's going to be an hour earlier than usual. Hey, what's up, Ash? Um, yeah, because what time is it in the UK right now? Typically, you're an hour ahead, but I guess you're seven hours ahead now. So is it is it 6.30 p.m. in the UK? Yeah, it's 6.30 for you guys. Parents don't really want me to watch your streams. I, we're, 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 we're pretty family friendly. Were your, were your parents, Sophia, were your parents watching the stream and they said no? <laughs> it's kind of funny, though. It's kind of funny. Went from five hours. It went from an eight hour to a seven, seven hour difference for me. Listen here, you're beautiful, you're talented, you're kind. Okay, you wake up in the morning and you don't even Hey, hey May. That's how great you are. Do you understand, man? How you doing, May? Hi, you. You are awesome. That message is for you. Do you understand? Do you understand? I appreciate the 30, May. You're awesome. Thanks, thanks for, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, guys, let's uh, let's submit our invoice real quick. No, it's not family thing though. They always ask me to do something when I'm watching your streams. <laughs> well, I don't know how old you are, Sophia, so I can't say. But yeah, I guess if anyone's a minor, I could see. I could see parents maybe having an issue. <laughs> that message is forever and so true, me. But especially for you. <laughs> well, don't don't get in trouble for watching my stream. It's not worth it. 
Especially when you can watch the playback on YouTube, guys. How am I feeling? I'm feeling good, Fena. How are you feeling? I've started to reintroduce small amounts of caffeine through like light green tea. And it's been nice. Making dinner so I get a lurk. No worries. Thanks for the lurk, friend. Thank you for the lurk. Appreciate it. I could see if it's heavy. Okay, I gotta I gotta figure out if I got any commissions. Okay, that one's taken care of. That one's taken care of. That's taken care of. Okay, cool. So... Flipping my laundry. Everybody's doing tasks today. I love it. Back to coffee, I see. No, tea. It's worthy, Zach. Thanks, Sophia. Always thought of you as a coffee person. I don't know why you stopped. Uh, I drink decaf. Um, the thing is, I don't like caffeine. But I'm finding that, like, one cup of green tea is, like, sufficient for me to, like, feel awake, but not, like, go crazy. Did you see Avatar claiming back the title for highest grossing film again? I did not see that, no. I also have a lot of laundry to do. <laughs> like, a lot. Like, probably, like, four or five loads. Am I going to do it today? Me. Me. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Probably not. Okay. Da, 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 da. What the heck? How is that possible? Okay, so 18 minus 1 is 17. 17 plus 17. Minus two, two. Re release in China is why. Oh, yeah, they do that a lot. I'm a caffeine addict. Yeah, that's why I stopped. One of the downsides of living at home is I'm always fighting for the washer. At least you don't have to pay for the washer. That's nice. And it's in your apart or it's in your house, which is nice. Side eye overflowing laundry basket. <laughs> yeah. Who else who else heard I have to do laundry and just were like, oh stop talking about me. Stop talking about me. Guys, I didn't get any commissions this pay period. Sad times. Okay, cool. Let's get this done. Thanks for waiting, friends. I'm gonna eat as well. Don't do anything stupid until you come back. I will do my best. But I'm stupid. I'm a stupid head. <laughs> I'm a stupid, stupid head. 
perk of living at home. You win some, you lose some. True. Very true. Guys, I, I didn't get my IRS thing, and I tried to use the tracker online, and they're like, we don't know where it is. And I'm like, come on. Grab a snack. <laughs> Me ordering a pago holder for my books at Orion. I don't, what's a pago holder? But I'm glad it arrived. Heard of Lonely and Shivered. <laughs> so I drink black tea every day to shake my tiredness. Yeah, black tea has a good amount of caffeine in it. All right, let's end the TikTok live. TikTok, thank you for hanging out. We're going to be on Twitch for the next three or so hours. So if you want to hang out, please do. If not, have a great day. All right, now that those kids are gone, sheesh. Sheesh. Oh, a page holder. Makes more sense. Okay, so that's taken care of. Guys, do you guys want to... Let's ask each other intimate questions. Intimate questions to ask your partner. Guys, let's all let's all get intimate together. 57 Okay, this is this is how I know that this source is legit because it's it's called dating.lovetoknow.com. You can trust you can trust that source right away. Right away based off the website right there. I know that you can trust this source. Okay, first question, guys. <laughs> what? Okay, I've already got I've already got issues with this because because this this quiz is called to ask your partner fifty seven intimate questions to ask your partner. Question three is what scent do you like on a woman? This is we're looking for a gen. We're not. We're leaving. This is not a gender inclusive quiz. We're taking no. Okay. Here we go, guys. This is our first mistake was not going to OprahMag.com, the Oprah magazine. That's where we should have started. If, if, if we can trust anyone, it's Oprah. In Oprah, we trust. Okay. Question 24. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask for extreme honesty. Here, question 24, have you ever been cheated on? Friends, Romans, countrymen, Oprah wants us to know. Oprah thinks we will build intimacy in our relationship if we say, have you ever been cheated on? Look under your seat. <laughs> yep, oh, sorry, Brian, no, I have not. I... <sighs> I, I want to say no. I'll say no. I'll say no. In my my girlfriend in high school cheated on me, but like looking back, what does that even mean? You know, she probably just like made out with someone else. But I guess like the act of it is that she did. But you know, unfortunately, in a more adult relationship, cheating might mean like sex or something more intimate. And then I had a girlfriend in college who made out with another dude but that one was that one was a little interesting because like we were we were like on and off again which would be fine if we were off again but we were like on again and then like the next day or the same day that happened so i don't know you guys tell me have i been cheated on one time my girlfriend took off her headscarf in public you know, depending on depending on your religion and your cultural background, that may or may not have different meanings. <laughs> she held hands with another boy. Ooh, I mean, it was high school, so she probably like made out with him. I might have to say yes. Okay, Brian says yeah. I would say yeah. Then okay. A bit delayed. I don't know for anyone else. 
Uh, no, it's not. I don't see a delay. I don't see any delay on my end. I mean, except for the like the fractional one I always have that I've just gotten used to like seeing. Okay, guys. Okay, question twenty-five. Question twenty-five. Have you ever cheated on someone? Have you? That is not cheating. Let the girl live. <laughs> Who said it was a joke? Matt, <laughs> it's, it's being too dicey. <laughs> we respect all cultural beliefs here, friends. <laughs> Might be on my phone. Yeah, it's probably that. I've never. This is a safe space, guys. We won't judge you. This is a safe space. If you've cheated on someone. I've never cheated on anyone. But I mean, I guess it, I guess it. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, Triple E, sorry, some play. We're not going to get into it, Matt. <laughs> we can, we can talk, we can talk about it off stream. That's a larger, like, anthropological concept, though, right? Of, like, you know, respecting another culture as opposed to, like, agreeing with it. It was, like, a very large debate I had in a few different uh, college courses. And my, like, anthropological courses felt different than, like, my philosophy courses. once but it had been toxic for months and I was very much a child yeah well it's kind of interesting cheating cheating is an interesting subject you know because it's like de depending on how you look at life like are there any situations where it's like okay to cheat or maybe not okay but maybe less bad you know like what if what yeah what if you're in a toxic relationship what if you feel unsafe what if someone else makes you feel safe and you know after months or a period of time you finally felt respected again you know what i mean have i ever cheated on someone no i've never cheated on someone but i have i have started to develop feelings for someone else while i was in a relationship uh but then i t i told my partner and we went from there but i've never um like physically cheated or acted on feelings or anything like that but Definitely have been in a relationship that was like not working out and not great, and I understand now for a lot of different reasons. Okay, here's 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 the third question. Then, have you ever been, I guess, like affiliated with cheating? Like maybe you were single, but you were with someone, and then you either knew they had a partner, or you found out they had a partner. At least you were straight up with them. I don't see a purpose in it. If you're in a toxic relationship, surely cheating would create a more hostile environment. But then again, this is hypothetical. Yeah, I mean, it could. It, I think it just kind of depends, right? Because like, I mean, who who can who can who can put ourselves in like someone else's shoes fully, you know, and understand, you know. But I think overall, we can say cheating's not good. <laughs> Found out way too late. I ran so fast. No. Thankfully, no. This I have done. This I have done. All my answers and now these questions really do not apply to me. We'll get to some other ones. We'll get to some other ones. Perpetually single to all. I, yeah, I actually, this, as, as one can imagine, this relationship did not end well, but, uh, I knew they had a partner and still chose to be intimate with them. Um, <clears throat> but the, the rhetoric that has been, was being communicated to me at the time is that this is something that was ending. This is something that like needed to end that me being in their life was such a positive force, which was helping them and all these other negative and, or, you know, not good things in their lives help. <clears throat> but you know, I learned a lesson that day. 
I left my ass because he wanted to get back with his other ex. Ooh, and also wanted to be with me at the same time. Ah, no, that's interesting. Three different guys I found out after we did shit, they were dating someone else. Two girls came after me through my DMs. Oof. Oof. Fandoms. Oof. Don't like that. Hard on a guy, and I wasn't entirely clear if he was saying that. It was weird, yeah. Yeah. Fun fact, though, that person is now marrying the person she was with before me. So it all worked out for them. <laughs> I think I was just like a fun little, fun little uh, blip, tryst, tri tri tirade, respite, reprieve, vacation. That's not cool. You know, I <laughs> I had deep feelings for this person. But you know, we live and we learn, friends. We live and we learn. And sometimes sometimes when you care deeply about someone, you ignore things you shouldn't ignore. Yeah, I'm actually officiating their wedding. No, that's just a joke. I am not doing that. I am not doing that. Okay. Here's question 33. Is there a personality trait that always ticks you off in person? I guess it says in person. That's an interesting uh, distinction. Is there a personality trait that always ticks you off? Not a cheating story, but I almost dated my old mentor's ex. We're not a date, did affection. Old mentor's ex. Got it. Was there like an age gap there? Zach, please. Part we all saying it was not meant to be. be. I'm happy in the relationship I'm in now. I feel like I've been rushing myself in relationships. Single life is the way to go. Don't leave to college. Well, I mean, that's an important distinction, Alex. Like, you know, understanding one's motivations for wanting to be in a relationship, right? Because there are certain motivations that are going to, I think, give a more healthy foundation and some that are not, you know, and that's important to think about. Liars, arrogance, annoyingly nonchalant. <laughs> It's like a, that's like an animal or anime trait, right? The annoyingly non nonchalant person. Like having confidence is good if he's cocky. Yeah. DM me after their boyfriend checked on me because someone in my dorm and she went off on me saying, "Oh, geez, that's a lot, of fandoms. That's a lot. I'm so sorry." Unnecessarily cruel. Yeah, I agree. Hypocrisy. Fake enthusiasm, mm-hmm. Gaslighters, more generally one-uppers. Here, let's, what are, what are some things that are, um, give me a trait that is like, give me more like a pet peeve. Cause all of these, I think we'd all agree with, right? Like arrogance, gaslighting, abuse. See, that's a good one, Banyas. Rude to waiters, that's a good one. What's something, give me a trait that's like, you know, maybe a little bit more like socially acceptable where like some people might care, some people won't. Rude to waiters is a good one. You know, like maybe like, I don't know, open mouth chewers. Like what are, what are, what are your like pet peeve personality traits? I'm trying to get through it now, yeah. Well, I'm sorry to hear that fandom, so. We'll, 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 be, we'll be chill vibes for you here. Five. The one that gets me is elitist, yeah. Oh yeah, elitist, totally loud chewers. Disrespecting their moms, yeah. Yeah, how, that's a quick one for me. I don't know if that's like a pet peeve, but like treating people in their life poorly, whether it's like parents or friends, or like how, how people talk about their friends, sucking on their fingernails to clean them. Ooh, Shiloh, we're gonna, we're gonna share a big old bag of hot Cheetos and Takis. And Gatekeep. Oh, yeah. Ooh, you don't like messier and organized. Interesting. Interesting. Interesting on that one. I actually don't mind that. I don't mind that. As long as you show up to our, uh, our, like, scheduled commitments. All the time there. Talk over people. Ooh, yawn loudly. Okay. Yawn loudly. 
Someone who doesn't stand for something? Yeah. Hello, Zach. Hey, what's up, Rosemary? Ooh, I can't stand one-upping. Oh, yeah. Um, one of mine... This is a game I like to play with people sometimes. Uh, when I'm, like, on a date or getting to know somebody. Is... How long will they talk if I just let them talk? And I don't, I don't mean in, like like right off the bat and like <clears throat> rambling is great rambling is cute but you know how where sometimes you're having a conversation with someone and they're just talking at you and like essentially your role in that conversation is to just ask them questions or if you don't say anything they'll just keep going like i just i just can't stand i can't stand one-sided conversations you know what i mean Yeah. And it's nothing to do with rambling because someone can ramble for a while, you know, but then still like bring it back, you know, and and it's obviously it's a balance. Like, I don't want anyone to think, you know, it's just like, oh, like I, I talk a lot. That's right. No, it's like a balance, you know, obviously, you know, and it's like an interest level. But if someone isn't like if someone isn't like interested and engaged in me from the get go and this this is a big thing. I don't know about you guys, but this is a big thing I found in like Internet dating especially from my perspective, which is like, like heteronormative, like cisgender heteronormative. So much of online dating is just like, ex expecting like me to like initiate and like carry a conversation. And I don't, I don't mind like uh, starting a conversation, approaching or whatever, but it's just like the biggest turnoff for me is if I'm trying to get to know someone and they like just are not even like, just dry texting, one word responses, or just not like following. I'm just like, what's what's the incentive for me to want to get to know you here? <laughs> All he did was talk about himself. Yeah. Aren't able to hold a conversation. Yeah. Two of us didn't really notice until I introduced my friends. Yeah. It's a speech. Yeah. Ghosting. Yeah. Hot take hot take actually maybe you guys will think this hot take um i actually i actually think that it's like sort of kind of okay for women to ghost not all the time but i i think if anyone is kind of like uncomfortable or like you know maybe like afraid for their safety i think that's totally fine that being said, if anyone has like, you know, gone on a few dates, es established a lot of, uh, that's a super hot take, established a lot of like intimacy, uh, then I think you kind of owe somebody an explanation. 0.5 seconds, you reply back promptly and then they take three days to respond. Calling me out for that one. Depends on the situation. Yeah, if you haven't met up, no. I've actually, I, I, so I don't, I'm kind of, I'm coming on the opposite end of ghosting. Like I'm, I'm super upfront and it actually is like, uh, I actually am like just such a direct person that it, it doesn't bother me. Like if I've gone on, like, let's say I've gone on like one, like small, like coffee date with someone. Um, I'm actually the kind of person that like, you know, like I'll text after the date or you know the next day or whatever if i'm not interested and i'll just like thank them for their time but let them know they're like hey you know like thanks so much um i actually don't think uh you know i'll word it in a nice way like i don't think that this is like gonna work out for me at this time you know but i did it um because i feel like it's just it's so easy for me to do that and then that way nobody has to like worry or think or whatever and there's no like follow-up communication that being said I have had a few people that have taken that like very, very poorly. Don't ignore them. Taste them. Yeah, I just think it's better. Literally every reason someone is interested rather than not knowing. Yeah, I wouldn't get into it like that. I mean, I might if they ask, but. But I've had some I've had some people that have taken that super poorly. <laughs> Okay, here, let's, um... Let's get another question. We 
What is something surprising? Oh, hold on. Uh, what is something surprising that you were afraid of as a child? What is something surprising that you were afraid of as a child? I'm not interested. Yeah, it can be tough. It can be tough, but it's it's better. It's better for everybody if you do. fear of water my own mother Oof. I have fever dreams I was afraid of my blanket once seen Johnny Depp's Willy Wonka that's a good one to be afraid of flap flap octopus what's up friend putting my face in the water really ironic someone grew up in water yeah um, what was I afraid of um, I was afraid of the dark for a while I was afraid I was afraid that there were clowns watching me outside my window, but that the second I would go to look there, they would like duck down or they disappear. But I like knew that these clowns were watching me. Uh, sorry guys, I actually did get a commission, friends. I gotta update my sheet real quick. Yeah, these clowns were just out to get me. Oh, do you guys want to hear a sad, embarrassing story? <laughs> so... Hold on, my, um, my manager is telling me I have a commission. Recurring dream of a clown with really long limbs. Clowns are, clowns are terrifying. was in um, from like preschool to fifth grade I went to a like a Lutheran school um, and since it was like you guys remember the bathrooms in kindergartens were kind of like shared bathrooms you know what I mean there was kind of like a door on both sides because you like weren't allowed to like use the bathroom alone and like ours didn't have it didn't have like stalls right it was just a room with like a couple like small toilets um, and and I remember I was probably in like third grade or something and uh, I my sister was still in like kindergarten maybe I was in like second or third grade or something like that or like there was something going on where it was like I was at I was at like an after school program because I had to do a lot of uh my parents worked a lot. So we had like before school daycare and after school daycare. And for some reason we were over on the kindergarten side and I was like, Hey, can I use the bathroom? And the, the teacher or the chaperone was like, yeah, no problem. So I went into the kindergarten bathrooms and I started using the bathroom and a girl walked in on me while I was using the bathroom. And I was like nine years old. So I had not hit puberty yet. Is this, is this where they're not, is this why they're not family friendly? Uh, but I guess just a little about little about the male genetics for everybody here just in a very medical way before men hit puberty uh they still have prepubescent private parts we'll say uh, now i'm worried about some italian parents watching this uh but i was a little boy right i hadn't i hadn't i hadn't uh, gone through puberty or maturity yet or whatever so she saw me and so i was super embarrassed you know because you know and this is this is a larger conversation in terms of like like 
like we over sexualize our little girls and then what we do to boys is we make we make little boys like ashamed of their genitals from like a very young age we just do um so anyways she saw and it was actually um it was actually my crush's sister that saw it and so i just like played it off i was like okay no problem like this is totally fine this is totally natural and as i was walking past them to like leave i like grabbed my sister's backpack that she forgot or something i saw the sister talking to my crush and she was going like this and i was just like that's so mean that's so mean <laughs> I was like, I'm just a, like a nine-year-old boy. Does anyone else have an, any embarrassing elementary school? I have a lot of those. Got a lot of shame from that time. All right. Awesome, guys. We just made a smidge more money from a from a commission. That's nice. We can we can pay rent for another month, kids. We're going to we're going to we're going to stay alive for another month. You don't gotta eat Cheerios and peanut butter and jelly. I was given detention for tying my socks in the bathroom, tying my shoes in the bathroom. She did, you dirty. Yeah. I got kissed in the line of the bathroom and I, and I told on the kid. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. Spilled a whole carton of chocolate milk. Mmm. <laughs> Cried so hard at my fifth grade graduation that I threw up on my crush. That's awesome. I love that. I love that. You were just so overwhelmed by graduating. Which honestly, same. Now Zach equal bigger money, man. Stay alive. I don't think we can say Zach's big money, man. I think we call Zach a uh, barely a making it enough to live in Los Angeles. Call Zach three three job a man. Good thing he has no kids. He could definitely not support his kids. <laughs> Broke my Tiba in elementary school. My teachers thought I was faking it to get out of a test. Also had to be carried by a staff member. Ooh, I think I've told you guys this story before. Uh, I went to school one day and my dad took us and my dad like I told him I wasn't feeling well, but like my dad did not give a fuck. My mom was like the nurse. And so he made me tea and toast and a banana. And I don't usually eat like bananas and wasn't drinking tea at that time in my life. I was like sixth grade. So I was like 11 or 12. So I already was feeling not good. And then I put like different foods in my body that I don't normally do. And then, so I get to school and I was going to tell my teacher, like, I don't feel good. I got to go to the nurse, but we had a substitute and the substitute did not give a fuck because they were a substitute. And we were in like a way underfunded, overcrowded school. And so I just put my head down and I was just like, I guess I got to get through this day. And I just vomited everywhere. And I was in a white shirt that day. So they sent me to the nurse and then my mom came to get me. <clears throat> Gaelic football, 22, he joined him. When I tried to get the ball, he elbowed me in the nose by mistake and fractured it. Whoa. Gaelic football? Is it just like Scottish soccer? I'm not sure. You were in chorus, four, six grade, low blood sugar, and I always lock my legs. Ooh, did you, you passed out? Yeah. Pull your chair and the chair fit lands on the teacher's foot. Ooh. Threw up in class at least once a week. Oh. Sounds good, Alex. Too shy to ask to go to the toilet, so I ended up peeing on the floor? What? How old were you, queen? That's buns. I brought my bunny to show and tell and he peed on me. Poor thing is so nervous. Oh, my show and tell, I brought a really big teddy bear and I got to carry it around all day and it was awesome. 
IBS has won me over when we turned. Hey, Vic, it's a safe place. It's a safe place. Okay, guys, question 11. Okay, this one has quotations in it. Were you popular in high school? There's quotations around popular, so I think that means there's some ambiguity there. <clears throat> Anyone that threw up in school was because they had us drinking the effing milk every day. Yeah. Ever had show and tell. <laughs> I got a lot of notes. Come on. Who was popular? Somebody was popular. Somebody here was popular. Walking in the field of PE and a football got kicked in my face. I was not popular in high school. Though. Come on. Who among us were popular? <laughs> Carly. I, Carly, I feel like you were like known by everybody and like everybody thought you were funny as the weird kid tried to avoid being popular gotcha tangential daria popular adjacent zach were on twitch who was popular <laughs> that's a good pair i guess misfits yeah wouldn't say friendly friends with everyone yeah that's what i would say i wouldn't consider myself popular but i was kind of friends with everybody good relationship with the people is not popular exactly okay we got some we got some popular adjacents in here i was known but not popular well maybe i don't know define popular define popular Funny, <laughs> my friend got voted funniest in class, so I'm kind of, kind of a big deal. I'm kind of a big deal. Definitely more reserved because I always thought people hated me. That's pretty, that's pretty similar to my experience. I was known and I was loud and I did like theater and stuff, but I also thought that like, it, w with the exception of people that were like my friends, I thought people hated me. Popular Jason. <laughs> I don't know. I was popular. I was popular adjacent. Maybe. I don't know. My school was, uh, we didn't have like traditional cliques, uh, cause we were a combined middle school and high school. So by the time high school rolled around, most of us had known each other for a while already. And, uh, so. We didn't really, we didn't exactly have kind of those clicks. And we also didn't really have, we weren't a sports focused school, so we didn't really have the whole jock thing going on. The ballet dancer, okay. The weird queer kid that was too silent. I regret not speaking my mind more. It's always good to speak our mind, I think. Teachers pit most likely to become famous, but not popular in theater. It's popular, I guess, but not who's cool. I feel like there's not the same popularity culture in the UK. Yeah, that totally could be fair. French immersion. 400 of us. Yeah, my, I think my graduating class was like 149, I think, 169. Small, small graduating class. I have to go now. See you later, Clara. Okay, uh, what's another one? Would you rather be loved, respected, or admired? That's a good one. Would you rather be loved, respected, or admired? Obviously, this question isn't fair or perfect because, like, obviously, you would hope that if you're loved, you're all those things. But let's let's take it as face value. Let's take let's take it as face value. You didn't have yearbooks. Just jokes to break eyes with people. Hung out with people, yeah. Respected. We're getting we're getting a lot of loved. We're getting some respected. Admired, because then I'd be doing something right. Respected. <laughs> Admired, but deep down, I want to be loved. Yeah. Well, it's a tough question, because then it's like, well, if I want to be loved, does that mean they don't respect me? 
Yeah, this is not a perfect question, but I feel like I feel like how I feel like the spirit of the question is you know, what's what is the, you know, what is the first thing you want people to think about you, right? Like if you're loved, obviously they love you. If you're respected, you know, you you have kind of their their trust, you're you're well known, you're maybe known for certain qualities about yourself and then admired seems like it might be more of kind of like a professional kind of thing uh people look up to you maybe you've achieved a lot and then loved is like you know maybe like you know you're you're not really well known you don't know a lot of people you know you don't have a lot of i guess like external status or validation but the people that do know Love you. I want to switch to feared. All right. You get to be feared. Oh, this is something we already talked about a little bit. Do you think infidelity is always a deal breaker? Yeah, let's talk about this. Do you think infidelity is always a deal breaker, no matter what? It's actually a good question to ask in like a relationship. So this question is saying like, if there's infidel infidelity, is the relationship done immediately? Or can you work through it? <clears throat> Are there any situations where a relationship could continue for you after infidelity? So do you think infidelity is always a deal breaker? Depends on how you define infidelity. Well, you define it. You define it. Yes, from an up. No, we're asking you. We're asking you, not for other people. Really depends on the context. Okay, so we got we got a depends on the context. We got a bunch of deal breakers. Doesn't have to be. Yeah. Just communicated before anything. Yeah. We're asking for you guys, not not for other relationships. This is for you personally. I think you can always work through it if you want enough. It'll work. Depends. Yeah. Yes, it's a deal breaker. It's whatever whatever that word is for you, friend. Between the people, the relationship, yeah. Should not push their opinions. <laughs> I'm seeing I'm seeing a lot of people talking about for others <laughs> in other relationships, in other situations, but for you. What's up, computer hacker? No. Yeah, I agree with that, Dario. Lack of respect for me, can't forgive. Hey, there's no there's no right or wrong answers here, guys. Despite me, yeah. So it seems to me if you're if people if people are if you're adding additional qualifiers, I'm seeing I'm seeing two trends right now. There's people either just saying no, and then there's people adding context to it. Uh, which is totally fine. I'm I'm probably in the latter half. Um, it's not always a deal breaker for me. I think, I think there could be situations where we work through it, depending on the context. Uh, yeah, it's not, it's not, cause that's how I, that's how I look at this question. Like it's either an immediate deal breaker or you, there could be more conversations about it. That's, that's how I'm looking at it. You know, like when you find out. If you find out your partner was unfaithful, is that the end right then? Or is there is there more options to talk about it, work about it? The old Ross and we were on a break. Yeah, that's an interesting one too. Okay, here's a good one. Here's a good one. Do you think there's such a thing as luck or do we create our own outcomes? Is there such a thing as luck or do we create our own outcomes? Slash your tires. <laughs> you have a life built with a family home together. It's worth saving. Yeah. Made me think about it. This woman in the movie said she had a three month period when something like this would happen. If it's been that long and still upsets you, you shouldn't be with that person. Yeah. Did you start the live? Mm -hmm. Say yes, deal breaker, but sometimes you would stay with them in spite of yourself. Yeah. Just don't see a context where it wouldn't be a deal breaker. Hey, you know, it's totally fine. Depends on the situation, but I think it's salvageable. 
Yeah, I mean, how I look at it is like you know, like it, it, would, it would it would depend it depend it would de- it would depend on the person for me. You know what I mean? Like, you know, if someone's like, "Well, I cheated on you," and like I'm not upset about it, then yeah, fuck off. You know, but you know, if someone was like, "Do you believe in second chances?" That's another way to ask that question. You know, do you believe in second chan- chances? Do you believe in you know working through something? Are there some relationships that are worth it? to work through someone like that you know what would what would their behavior have to look like would you require you know certain i guess remunerate remunerations remunerations like would you require certain actions and feedback back think luck depending on your willingness yeah there's always an outside situation determine luck manifest positivity i agree with that second chances i don't believe in a third that's fair because it gives me a bit of optimism. I I feel like I, f- I fall somewhere in the middle. I believe in luck, but I do think, I do think you can make yourself more lucky. Like what's the saying? Like, what is the saying? It's like luck is like preparedness meets opportunity. Something like that. Can't get by purely on luck. Yeah. Um, but I, I, yeah, I do, I do think that there's, yeah, I think that there is luck in the universe, in the world. And I think that there are ways to like tap into that or make yourself more available to it. But I also agree that like, you can't, you can't just live off it. <laughs> okay, here's here's one. Who is your hall pass celebrity crush today? Assuming you're in a relationship and you guys both agree or joke around having a hall pass. For those of you that aren't familiar, a hall pass in a relationship is basically like a like a freebie. Like one person you could be with like if if the opportunity presented itself that let's say Chris Hemsworth showed up to your door and you're in a relationship but Chris was like we're doing this and you and your partner would be like yeah that's fair that's what a hall pass is Pedro Pascal Riz Ahmed that man is fit Ross Lynch okay Chris Evans, <laughs> Zendaya, Colin Firth, Jake Gyllenhaal, all good stuff. Elizabeth Olsen. You know, I was once in a relationship where she was genuinely okay with hall passes. And that was so funny to me because I live in Los Angeles and I'm an actor. And I was like, this is a very different conversation than if we lived in Arkansas or Florida or Georgia or Washington. I was like, this, this, this could we could physically be in the same area as some of these people. (laughs) Give me unlimited hall pass. Nice. Chris Pratt, Jordan Fisher, Michelle Moran, Morani, Tom Hiddleston. I don't know who my hall, I don't think I have a hall pass right now, guys. I'm not in a relationship, but I also don't have one. I mean, I feel like Ariana Grande would be fun, but I don't think it would work out. But I think it would be fun. Middle of nowhere, Canada, yeah. Hey, you don't know. They, a, lot of, a lot of shooting happens up in Canada. <laughs> okay, here's a good one. If you had the option to live forever, would you choose to? Not in Newfoundland, yeah. Most of it's like Vancouver, Toronto. <gasps> Excuse me. Heck no. Got a lot of no's. Any yeses? Oh, we got one yes. A lot of no's. Dude, no, yeah. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a no for me as well. When I was when I was younger, I would have said yes.
yeah, watch everyone I know and love and die. Yeah, it seems like it'd be so lonely. <clears throat> Family and took everlasting seems so sad they were still living, yeah. Apparently want to rake the light sand some days. Big oof. Big oof. Big oof. We know that one. We know that one! Okay, here's one. Have you ever been in a physical fight? Have you ever thrown down in an Applebee's parking lot? Guys, should we go make some, I think we should go make some pancakes here in a second. 26 years have been exhausting an eternity. Nah. Does punching your brother when I was five count? It does not. Always been afraid. I'm working through some religious identity stuff. Been alone. Everyone I love past, present. That sounds worse, yeah. Losing people would be so sad, yeah. I was a kid and it was underwater. I haven't surprisingly. Yes, I have, yeah. I've never, I've never been in an actual fight As outside of like childhood skirmishes. I've never been in a physical fight. Powder puff football when I was a junior, I was blocking and getting pissed. Yeah. Yeah. I've been, in, I've been in a couple like quick little scraps, but nothing like, like an actual fight. I feel like I can usually, uh, Ooh, this is on the, this is on the low fi I don't even care if this is gonna get claimed. This is a fire fucking playlist. Worked in the nightclub for a year and a half. I have been in some. I bet Brian, that's like if you're gonna, if it's if anywhere's gonna be Brawl City, it's gonna be a nightclub. I actually don't like clubs. Like most clubs are like overcrowded. I don't connect with the music. The stuff is too expensive. Most of the dudes are creeps. You can't have a conversation with anyone. Don't get me wrong. I love dancing. Like I would much prefer a bar that also had a dance floor. You know what I mean? Like, but something that wasn't like totally captivated by the dance floor. Like you still, you still have people like lounging and chatting and stuff. And most, most club music I don't like, I'm not always getting down with. Or going, going to dance halls are fun. They, they have a lot of those in LA. Uh, like they have a couple just like dance floors and they'll just have like live music going. Or they'll have like theme nights, like emo night is really big in LA. Um, I really like the like electronic night, which is basically like everything I listened to in like middle school, high school, and college. Those are fun. A pub is so much better than a club. Loud music is too hot inside. Yeah. Plus, I mean, this is this is everywhere. This is everywhere. But like, after hearing a lot of the experiences of like the women in my life, like. I, I, I didn't realize how much like just random groping was a part of the club scene. Like I assumed that it happened occasionally, but like after hearing from like some friends, especially in the LA scene, especially in like the model scene, it's like a constant thing. I was just like, why would anyone all go to those things? It sounds awful. Swing dancing. Yeah. I've been, um, I've been swing dancing. Silent discos? Silent discos are fun. They would do these in the Bay Area where they would do silent discos like on the train at night. So you'd be caught, you'd be kind of on the train as it went. Men at the close of Yeah, I agree. Sure happens everywhere. It's like, I just don't understand the motivation. Who does that? Who does that? What kind of weird mentality are you living in that like you enjoy doing that? If you're, if you're someone that randomly gropes people, I think you've got a lot of unpacking to do. I think you need to unpack why you enjoy doing that. And I think you also need to spend some time thinking about how your actions make other people feel. Yeah. It's just so gross. Okay, here's a good one. Do you think there's such a thing as a harmless lie? Because of this, yeah. Do you think there's such a thing as a harmless lie? I 
Little white lies, yeah. No. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Harmless lie? No. I would say so, yeah. I would say so. What if someone what if your what if your partner really wanted to cook you a meal and they spent a while on it they went and they got they got all the ingredients they really tried their best and they got it for you and it's just horrendous but they're so proud and they really just wanted to express themselves and like do something nice for you and yeah i was it's great this is just delicious no we can't make it again it's so good i never want to tarnish this memory this is, has to be a one-time thing we're only having this once, and I'm going to cherish every bite of it, and then we're never going to talk about it ever again. <laughs> Isn't benefiting anybody, yeah. Why I feel too bad, yeah. What if they made it for you again, though? Yeah, well, you know, maybe you can, maybe you can, maybe you can unpack them at a later. Babe, I appreciate the thought that this tastes horrendous. Scorpio, Scorpio vibes. Scorpio vibes right there. Okay, here's a good one. Do you consider yourself good with money? Do you consider yourself good with money? Start appreciating people, but let them know. I don't like it. Yeah. Fully lie, the truth is better off. And I had a well-paying job. I did save quite a bit. Yeah. Some things. Terrible. Yeah. Budgets. Budgets help a lot. Budgets really help. Uh, there's a website I use called Mint, too, where you basically can connect, you know, all your cards, and then you can set budgets, and then it will automatically categorize those. So you're like, okay, I'm only spending 50 bucks on uber this month you know and it'll track that or like you know i'm only spending 200 dollars on food and you know it'll associate you know when you went to the grocery store and when you went to a restaurant so and it'll make like it'll make like fun little charts and stuff a little too impulsive yeah impulsivity get it Ooh, 2016 bmw nice nice we love that Okay, this is question number question number 99 out of 100. Do you have a personal flaw that you'd fix if you could? Do you have a personal flaw that you would fix if you could? <laughs> yes, a lot. <laughs> Procrastination, insecure, all of them. Playing 21 questions. We're just we're just chatting. We just we just we just looked up um, questions to ask your partner, and we've been going through a few of them. Shyness, self-deprecation, several, several. <laughs> Is it kidding? Oh, flaws? Yeah, several. Social fears, overthinking. Yeah, yeah. Being lazy. Yeah. Well, you guys got to remember, like, what a flaw is, right? Like, because some, some of these things are almost like symptoms, not root causes. Like, it's not a flaw to have anxiety, right? But it might be a flaw to, because of your anxiety, to hate yourself, right? Or to, to berate yourself, So like fear of intimacy and failure, is that a flaw? 
I think, I think until fears manifest themselves, they're not flaws. They just exist in us, right? Like, let's say, let's say I'm afraid of uh, going outside, but I don't let that stop me. I still live an everyday life. So then it's not a flaw. But if I'm afraid of going outside, so I never leave my apartment and I don't let anyone in, you know, that could be considered a flaw of, you know, closing myself off, not allowing my life to be lived. But like procrastination is a good one. Laziness. Filters, maybe a little vague, but I know what you're getting at. Anxiety, depression, yeah. So think about it that way, guys. What are, what are, yeah, what's, what's, if you, do you have a personal flaw and would you fix it? So like, let's say you are depressed. That's not a flaw, but because of your depression, you can, you self-isolate to the nth degree. You are cruel to those who try to get you to open up because you're afraid. Right, that I would consider the flaw. Physical flaws is a symptom of insecurity. Well, it doesn't say physical flaws. I don't think physical flaws exist. Still several. Fear of confrontation. Yeah, hurt their feelings. I totally connect with that, Carly. That's something I've worked on in my own life. Just gave me another flaw I'm gonna work on. That's something I work on in my life. It's hard for me to say no to the people I care about. And that's something I put a lot of work into myself. Just kind of owning, owning your bound, my boundaries and my space. People pleasing. Yeah. Procrastinating. Yeah. Yeah. Procrastinating is a flaw, especially if it causes stress in your life. Like, here's, here's a way, here's, here's another way. If you're, if you're having trouble defining your flaws and you're just kind of looking at like, you know, uh, whether it's like mental, mental illness or like, you know, struggles or disorders or whatever. So one of the ways you can categorize like, uh, like substance abuse or an addiction, right, is when it when everyday functions of your life are being impeded without that substance. So if you can't eat anymore without like being high, if you can't stand social interactions without, you know, having some type of substance or drug, um, if you can't function in an everyday way without a certain substance, that is a possible indication of addiction or abuse of that substance. And I feel like that's a good way to think about flaws as well. Is there something about yourself, like some type of behavior or mentality that is preventing you from living the life you would like uh, or communicating in certain ways? That's what I would consider a flaw, something that is preventing you from having positivity in your life. So yeah, procrastination, totally a flaw. Um, bottle things up, yeah. But personally, personally, I don't think anxiety is a flaw or depression is a flaw or insecurity is a flaw. Like the nature of them aren't necessarily flaws. Sure, they're not a positive or fun thing to have to go through. Um, but it's not until it's not until we act not thinking physical flaws. Yeah, what's a physical flaw? Like what? It, what is a physical flaw? I don't understand that. Like if someone is missing a limb, is that a flaw? I don't think so. I think flaw can, I think flaw has a connotation that I don't think can apply to physicality. Unless you have an example. Procrastination is due to ex executive dysfunction. Is that a flaw? I have an underdeveloped jaw. I don't think, um, I don't think that's a physical flaw. I think that's just a part of you. But I guess, I guess, 
I guess if you if someone has a physical flaw to similarly, if it prevents you from like being able to breathe or eat, then sure, maybe that's a flaw. But I don't think not looking a certain way that you want to look is necessarily a flaw because a lot of that can be you know influenced by certain things like our beauty standards change every 50 years you know depending on the culture you're in um so i don't think physical flaws exist i think we can perpetuate certain ideals that may or may not be healthy that may or may not be positive but i don't think by nature physical flaws exist unless it is has some type of medical connotation where i have a deviated septum and it's harder for me to breathe or um you know i have uh some type of cleft lift that doesn't allow me to eat certain foods or i have you know a perforated eardrum that can be fixed medically so i'm no longer half deaf so i guess i guess in that case i might agree that those are perhaps physical flaws but you know i have a crooked nose now i'm missing a limb surely not but you know that's just like my opinion man um i guess all you guys are sharing i'll share as well dietitian has been helping me with my physical insecurity physical flaws or something are things that sometimes person we must love or truly wrong yeah so do you medical flaws exist, but aesthetic flaws don't yeah can I wave real quick? There you go. Yeah, I would say so. And then in, in which case, in which case I probably wouldn't use the word flaw for medical flaws. I don't know what I would, I don't know what I would use. Impairment, a medical impairment. If it is impairing me from breathing, impairing me from eating, impairing me from speaking, hearing. Um, a personal flaw that I would like to fix. Um, I have many. <laughs> I'm thinking of how to best word these. Well, I have flaws that I have been working on. There are things that I've been working on and I continue to work on. Um, it's important to me that uh, people know that I'm intelligent <laughs> and I've worked on that a lot in my life because then that that roots back like I was saying it's like what's the manifestation that roots back into like you know needing to prove oneself not feeling like I need to prove myself just being confident in myself can you say hi can you say Sam hello Sam Jesus Christ Sam we're in the middle of a conversation Sam freaking Sam seek validation no not quite validation I guess it's more respect yeah it's more respect gifted child complex um i always work on being as good of a listener i don't know if that's fair to quite say a flaw per se but uh in certain contexts <laughs> as i say while i'm on a freaking live stream um and i've worked on this a lot being the best listener i can be but uh in certain contexts i can be a chatty kathy so just making sure that I'm always listening and giving everyone space. Constant validation for my loved ones, yeah. Over validation, totally. Totally get that. Rejecting, bring to the table or saying, yeah. Let's get another one. Let's get out a couple more. A lot of these are like <laughs> uh, pointed. It's 
smart and I realized it was the first time someone said that to me. Oh. Yeah, well, that's a good question. Nature versus nurture. Um, I think we went through, I think we went through all the good questions here. Here's verywellmind.com. Yeah, here's a good one. What's something you'd like to try, but you're too scared to try it? What's something you'd like to try, but you're too scared to try it? <laughs> Being vulnerable in the chat. Really interesting goes to nature of it. Yeah, totally. Traveling around the country, world alone, streaming, bungee jumping. Yeah, my mind went to bungee jumping. I'm not too scared. That's more like time and finances. Scuba diving is pretty, yeah. Just tuned in. What did I miss? What's up, Keith? We're just chatting. We're just chatting today. Swimming with sharks. Getting in a real relationship. Oof. Oof. Rock climbing. Yeah, if I had more money, I would pay for a climbing gym. I think I'd really like climbing. <laughs> Just don't want to disappoint the much. Yeah, I'm sure it'll come out right. Okay, here's here's a good one. What what do you dream about most often? What do you dream about most often? Yeah. Hey, thanks, Alex. <laughs> Answer me question, Dan. The sharing time really hidden diff. Heights, yeah. Ooh, yeah, sharing, talking with someone about what's going on, making POVs on TikTok. It might turn out bad. Ah, uh, don't worry about them turning out bad. I got plenty of bad ones, Croft Girl. Being loved and happy. Or... You dream about your ex. Ooh. Been there, done that, bought that t-shirt. Dream about family most often. Acting TikToks. Body just shuts down like a robot being powered off. Yeah, I don't remember most of them. I don't have any reoccurring dreams. And I also don't remember them. I want to work on lucid dreaming. Guys, let's watch, let's watch a 37-part series on YouTube about lucid dreaming. Talking about dreams isn't what we want in life? No, I think, I think like, asleep dreams. Sleep dreams. Or like movies, that's nice. Back in high school, even though I have a multiple degree. Yeah, that would happen to me in college. I would like wake up and I'd be like, fuck! Oh! And then I'd be like, oh, we're done. Or like when I got out of college, I'd be like, I gotta go to school! Have I heard of reality shifting? I have not. Is that the thing where I was watching a TikTok about it and they basically were like giving you exercises to do when you were awake and the whole concept where if you do enough, if you do enough exercises that help you determine whether or not you're in a dream. So like looking at clocks, pushing against walls, looking at your hands, like there's certain things that like generally speaking, like you don't focus on in a dream. Like usually you have like more than one finger or like clocks you can never like read the time but i guess the concept was if you start to train yourself to do these things multiple times a day in your awake life you know hopefully eventually you'll do it in one of your dreams and then that's when you can trigger a lucid dream i'm gonna start doing that everybody look at your hands right now like really look at your hands count how many fingers you have if you have an extra finger you are dreaming right now Right now, if you are dreaming, if you have an extra finger, you are in a dream, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? You, you control your reality. You got pop through, pop through the stream right now and punch me in the face. This is your dream. This is your dream. You can do that. <laughs> Hypnosis, anything like that. Oh. 
wake up shifting your consciousness okay interesting interesting yeah that sounds like a sounds like an acid trip to be honest with you has anyone here ever gotten like really high off something and just like stared at themselves in the mirror for a long time oh got a package sparkle thank you for the 50 friend. what do we say to the haters guys what do we say to the haters I ordered some more soil. I got some more soil for my plant babies. For all of the dreams. Humans have 11 fingers, wanna try it? Yeah, uh, we just did. Shrooms on, so it was really interesting, yeah. It can be, it can be, it can be pretty intense depending on what you're doing, it can be a little intense. When saw my roommate just casually lying in bed and then she looked up the ceiling and didn't move for 30 minutes. <laughs> He's got a package. Looked at my eyes for so long, yeah. It can be it can be interesting, the use of mirrors. Oh plant babes, may they thrive. They seem to be doing okay. <laughs> maybe we maybe we'll switch to plant stream in a sec here. sub to Fena. Appreciate it, Carly. See you later, Fena. Okay, here's 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 another one. Here's a good one. Over the last five years. How do you think you've changed? As a Halloween, it was a deer. She stared at her face until she became a deer IRL for herself. <laughs> oh, drugs. Drugs are fun. <laughs> Is my stream family friendly? Making the most of myself. Oh, thanks, Rage. I got so drunk that I cried in a gas station. You know bought three large right. buckets of fries. Hey, sometimes you got to do that. Hey, Keithy, thank you for gifting a subscription to Violet CH. I appreciate it. All right, Keithy. All right, Keithy. You know what? I think we're going to be friends. Hey, Catherine, thank you for extending your subscription. This calls for some, this calls for some tiny hands. Some tiny hands. Couldn't ask people to hang out or just run to the store with me. Ooh. Secure my own decisions, yeah. Five years is a good amount of time to reanalyze, especially if you're like, especially if you're under 22 or even under 23, right? Because if you're 22, five years before that would have been, what, 17? And if you're like me, you're 26, almost 27. So five years ago, I would have been 21, 22. So five, five years is a good increment of time to kind of reevaluate. <laughs> a bit more grown in some fronts, yeah. A bit more withdrawn, more independent. Self-aware, confident. That's good. I like how these are all positive. Like how these are all positive things. 94, baby. Doesn't look like, hey, thanks, Dora. Appreciate it. Got a, got a youthful glow. <laughs> Individualist group of people. Yeah. Hey, that's good, Carly. 
I think you've, it sounds like you've done more work in five years than people do in most of their lives. When's my birthday? August. August 15th. Sparkle, thank you for the 165, friend. Discerning which friends. Yeah, that's a good that's a good skill to pick up. Which of our habits are healthy and which of our habits are not healthy. Come on, mom. Lost myself for a long time. Confidence. Got confidence back? Heck yeah. That's what I like to hear, Victoria. I'm so glad. That's all we can do. That's that is probably one of the most attractive <clears throat> things I look for in a partner. Pennies. Pennies, <laughs> pennies for the poor. Pennies, pennies for the poor. I'm just kidding, I appreciate it. Hype train, yes, heart, heart. Thank you, Catherine. I appreciate the 95. Thanks for contributing to the hype train. Um but someone someone working on themselves and like seeking to grow i think is probably the biggest thing i look for in my relationships both platonic and otherwise i'm actually going to start a podcast after tax season nice i thought 165 was seb uh i think it's i think it's 164 I think it's 164. We added a bunch of new ones. Oh wait, it is 165. What the heck? We love intimate question time. <laughs> intimate question time. Let me check. Where did that go? It should be. Nope, it's 164, but I labeled it incorrectly. I am sorry, but for you, Sparkle. We'll play it right now. Zach. Zach, the cowman. The man. He's the ruler of all cows. When he goes moo. <laughs> Everyone cries. Validated by others, voicing opinions, yeah. Acknowledge negative, but look for the positive, yeah. All good stuff. Sounds like it's been a good five years for a lot of people. This is a test bit alert. <laughs> okay, here's here's a here's a decent one. Here's a decent one. Describe yourself in three words. It's the closest I've been to James Blake with my sing. What's up, buddy? This is a good singing. This is a good alert. How you doing, buddy? Having a, having a good day? Having a chill day? And we summoned we summoned you with that alert. He was probably he was probably chilling prior to that. Bye, guys. See you later, Shay. Untethered soul. That's really interesting. Getting to the root of your consciousness, learning how to disconnect from the mind. You're good, just got out of bed, nice. That's a good feeling. Learning from mistakes and growing in the best way. Heck yeah. That's all we can do is learn from our mistakes, right? What's up, boy? Boy amazing. Thanks for the level one hype, friends. Appreciate you. Sympathetic, emotional, calm. Those are some good words. Open empathetic learning. Empty brain hottie. <laughs> Empty brain hottie. That's so funny. Welcome back, Sophia. Hey, Gira, thanks for the host, friend. Creative, compassionate, goofy. 
Optimistic, loving, clueless. <laughs> Bimbo, Ibo. Sarcastic, obsessive, and annoying. Wasn't too, wasn't too positive, friend. What are we doing? Uh, we're just chatting, asking, asking intimate questions. Yo, this lo-fi playlist is fire. I dig this. It's dancing in the moonlight. <laughs> Lovely, childish, loud, sarcastic, loving, happy. Some good descriptions. All right. If you were youthful forever, if you were youthful forever, how would you live your life differently now? Emotional mess, Bimbo. Funny, outgoing, easygoing. All right. That's good. Learn a lot about a person when you ask them to choose three words to describe them. You take more risks. It's the link for the lo-fi playlist. Uh, I'll put it. I'll put it in the Discord. Put it in the Discord. I put it in. I uh, put it in music Rex. Be more active. Chaotic, sensitive, overthinking. Let myself have the biggest whole phase. You can still do that, man. Same as I do now. That's good. That's good. Well, I think the point of this question, I think the follow-up, I think the follow-up, the intended follow-up question of this is, why don't you do that now? You know, what's preventing us from, obviously, a panorama. Better, more productive work pattern. Go out, I actually learned to protect myself. Hope to do that in college September, yeah. Sounds like a lot of these we can do now, friends. Especially take life not too seriously. Yeah. Other people read a lot of books. Sounds like we can do all of that, friends. Sounds like that's within our grasp now. Hmm. Okay, guys. You guys want to put some soil in my plants? again. So, uh, I forgot that I have to change some things. Okay. 
make some space, shall we? Let's uh, make us some space. Oh, that's upside down. That's upside down. Okay, my uh, my other camera is updating. that it has decided to update right now at this point in time. We love, we love that for us. We love that for us. Okay, don't mind, don't mind these things on the ground. I was using these to mop up soil the other day. All right, uh, I'm assuming you guys can hear me, right? I'm assuming you guys can hear me. When there's no echo junk. Everything's kosher. You guys can hear me, right? It's, uh, there's uh, no problems hearing me. Plants. 
We're going to use the measuring cup. Okay, uh, we're only doing the one camera angle today because my Android is taking its sweet time. Updating. So, it is what it is. Okay, this guy, I'm like doing my best. I don't know what the issue is. I need to, if anyone knows what kind of plant this is, please let me know. Please inform me because, you know, I'm doing more sunlight, doing less sunlight. I don't know. Okay, I got another plant. Actually, yeah, I got one. I need to swim. Bada bing, bada boom. Guys, this guy's also struggling a little bit. And I don't know if I should like take that off or just let it be free. Can we see up close? Yes, you can see up close. I had a paper, but I lost the paper. It might, it might need, I don't know, for the past two days I've been letting it sit in the sun. I think, I, th I, might, I might do like a watering day after this. I just watered all of them like a week and a half ago. Watching on stream. Uh, it's just to um, it's just to see the chat because I'm not at my computer anymore, obviously. Thank you. These were this was a gift. This was a housewarming gift. Okay, we got some soil. The soil is ready to go. So, this guy right here, this guy needs a lot more soil. Need some nutrition? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, no, this, is this soil is interesting. Just add water. For up to three times expansion. Okay. Oh, I didn't know this was like expansion soil. Yeah, well, we'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. Okay, well, I'm afraid of it expanding. Plastic shop. No, I that's what I did yesterday. I took them I took them out of their plastic containers yesterday. That's what I was doing yesterday. Because they weren't they weren't ready to leave their plastic shop containers the other day. Man, we're really mixing and matching soil over here. I hope that's okay. Okay, this guy. This guy needs a lot of soil. Check this out. This guy looks like a freaking alien. Check this guy out. This guy's crazy looking. Look at that. I don't want to take it out because I have packed it in its soil and stuff. But look at that stuff. This guy looks crazy. It's like a, it's like a freaking alien. Here, let me give you a better, a better view. Look at this guy. You know what? I'll just show you guys. Oh my gosh! Look at this. Is this plant kind of creepy looking. This plant is the plant of nightmares. Okay, so, but this, this, this person, this is what I, this guy, this is the guy about the school. I make such a mess though. It's like impossible not to make a mess when you're doing this. It's like, that's why we, that's why we garden outside.
Where am I playing today? That is a Zanzibar. Yeah, Zanzibar, that sounds right. I don't know. Tell, how often does it need to be watered? That's what I need to know. How often does it need to be watered? Also, can I, I think, I think we just gotta go water all these kids at, right after this. I think we're gonna do another watering day. Okay, cool. That feels good, that feels snug. That feels good. I'm worried about the expansion amount. This guy can use a little bit more, it seems. Took a picture of my Android, Google tells you what picture is. Oh, okay. Thanks, Seb, I'll give that a shot. Okay. Don't need a ton of water. Yeah, a lot of them don't need a lot of water. It's really just, it's really just this guy I'm worried about. See, this guy is healthy as all hell. This guy's totally fine. This guy's doing great. You're fine. You, you, these are the, these are the bad boys. And then I also have this, but aloe vera plants, you don't even need to worry about. Oh, okay. So this guy is still in its little thing. So we can take this guy. So that's good. And then, but I think, I think this can use just like a smidge. Just like a smidge of soil right there. And then someone told me yesterday to like break the soil up a little bit. my OCD tendencies. Also, yes. There's no way to be gentle about this one. There's no way to not make a mess on that pour. I'm afraid of what this is gonna look like when we expand it. Okay, friends, we're gonna do we're gonna do a watering day. I I feel like it's only been a week and a half, but we're gonna do another watering day. Well, we we won't water. We're not gonna water these two, but we're gonna water the rest of them. And then we're gonna see how much more soil they need. Watering in the bathtub, yes. <laughs> You're hell of a Well, it's kind of confusing because some need like partial light. Some need like partial light, you know? Me, friends. Welcome to the bathroom. Welcome to where I water my plants. Is this the right way to water plants? I don't know. Is it how I do it? Yes. Yes, I clean my shower afterwards. But I don't, I don't have like an outdoor gardening space, you know? All right, we'll go for it. Trying to get the right stream of water. Yeah, that feels good. Yeah, give it a nice little, a nice little soaky soak. 
All right, this guy can take more soil. We have learned that now. Just give it a, give it a encourage the leaves to grow. Give them a little rub. Talk to them. Did you have a good day, Mr. Plant? Also, all my plants are boys. We have no real plants right now. Only boy plants. Okay, both of these can get a little more soil. This guy's doing great. You are doing great. I'm gonna call you Thomas. Thomas is a big, strong boy. All his brothers look up to him. And he's like, man, why am I not doing as good as Thomas? Well, Theodore, this, this is Thomas, this is Theodore. We're making these up right now. You just worry about yourself, okay? You let, you let Thomas do Thomas and you do you. All right, I feel good about this. I feel good. These, these guys are gonna pull around. This guy's still doing good. This leaf, we lost the leaf. Felipe lost the leaf. This is Felipe. Alvin and the chipmunks, that's a good idea. keep the wrapping on it because it's not it's not a big boy yet it's not a big boy yet also is it okay i'm doing this in my shower i have no other place to do it you know you know where else am i supposed to do it and i clean it Only water when the leaves start dropping. Yeah, all these are supposed to be like easy care. I really only do like a watering like every like every other week. And then most of them get like in low to like indirect sunlight. Is this the money plant? This guy oh no! Oh no! Okay. I don't want to overwater, I just want to get this soil, topsoil wet as well. I want it all to be acclimating. Okay. I definitely am gonna to have to scoop up all this soil. I'm for sure gonna have to scoop up all this soil. <laughs> the braided one in the great pot is the money tree. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, I've been, I've actually been pretty conservative on, um, I've been pretty conservative with the water. And they've all been doing pretty good. They've all been doing pretty, pretty well. Oh, sir, I'm gonna need you to relax. Okay, I got way too much soil everywhere, which is gonna be a pain in the ass. But let's just pretend like I had a very busy day outside. And I was a very muddy gardener. Man, imagine taking a bath. Imagine being like this dirty. You took a bath.
Okay, well, we're gonna clean our shower later. Those guys are gonna hang out in there for the time being. My bad. Don't take the rubber bands off the money tree. Okay, that wasn't going to. But now I'm really not going to. Okay. Let's make some pancakes. Let's make some pancakes, because I'm out of food. I'm out of food, but I still have pancake mix. Pancakes. So one cup of mix, two thirds a cup of water. That's fun. And in fact, let's let's fix this real quick. I know you guys are upside down. One sec. Have some mixing bowls make your life so much easier. It's so much easier when you get yourself some mixing bowls. Discord for subs only. Nope, Discord is for everybody, my friend. Okay. So, one cup of mix, two thirds of water. Easy. Instead of old milk, ooh. Yeah, if you can't do dairy, that's gonna be rough. Master of the go, the on the go. You know, we could do, I'm, I'm out of eggs. Otherwise I could say, I'd say we could do this from scratch, but I'm out of eggs. Plop. Easy peasy cover girl. Got some grapes and some strawberries. Well, two thirds a cup. We're gonna eyeball it. That feels right. And now, whiskey business. Bisque. You guys, remember when we did that baking stream? Okay, what are we thinking, friends? Are we thinking a dash of... Oh, I keep forgetting I don't have cinnamon. Oh, 
don't have cinnamon, but I do have, I do have uh, vanilla extract somewhere. Here it is. Let me think, just a smidge. I wish I had uh, chocolate chips. Just a little, and then uh, you know what we're gonna do? We got some strawberries. Do some strawberries. You can have strawberry pancakes, right? That's okay. Right? We feel good about strawberry pancakes. Don't we? Ooh, banana pancakes. I have some bananas. Yeah, let's make some strawberry. Let's make some strawberry and let's make some banana. Let's make some strawberry. All right, let's whisk. A little bit of the vanilla going. Let's make some strawberry. And then, uh, <clears throat> yeah, this bad boy. I actually have some bananas from yesterday. I was gonna make some banana bread. Yeah, blueberries. Blueberries are really good, but I don't have any blueberries. Strawberry banana. Now I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna do one in the other. Bananas, strawberries. Uh, I, I should have diced these strawberries more. I'm actually gonna smash up the bananas. Start with the banana. Uh, uh, I'm gonna butter my surface actually. I actually have other pans I should have used. I have Teflon, new Teflon pans that would work better for the non stick but that's okay. Okay, let's get the banana going. This this guy's gonna be chunky. It's gonna be chunky. It's gonna be banana beautiful. Banana beautiful. Hey Carly, thank you for gifting a sub, friend. Deviant. Appreciate you, Carly. Thank you for always sharing love and positivity. I don't know if I'm gonna like a banana pancake. I'm kind of specific about like banana in my life. Let's okay, let's get some strawberry going, shall we? Oh yeah, that guy's gonna be chunky. <laughs> I should've, 
I should have chopped up the strawberries for more, don't you think? Yeah, I should have. I've, I picked, I picked two big strawberries. I should have diced them again. No use, Zachary. Look at that. Chonk. Chonk City, friends. Chonk City. SpaghettiOs moment. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs moment. Yeah, I definitely should have diced those strawberries some more. Try carbonate. Ooh, I have carbonate water. Guess how much uh, cleaning I have to do? Oh no! Lost a uh, I lose connection. Well, we seem to have, what the fudge? These pancakes are not holding up well. <laughs> They're too chunk. Too chunk. Okay, there we go. Too chunky. Too chunky, my friends. Too chunky. You know, they're still gonna be good. It's gonna be a little on the chunk side. A little on the chunk side. Consistently losing out on uh, on our secondary camera. These guys are just gonna need to uh, need to get a thorough cook on. Yeah, they're still gonna, they're gonna taste good. They're certainly going to taste good. No doubt in my mind about that. And uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we'll have one, we'll have uh, two syrup and one honey maybe? Uh, 
All right. That kind of held up a little better. There was just too much, there was too much chunk to batter ratio. The chunk to batter ratio was all off. I feel like this guy. All right, the banana. Banana's doing well. This guy's just gonna be on the. Is that something that? Ladybug starts flying out of nowhere. Good luck, huh? Ladybug is like good luck. Okay. These are almost. Seem, seem just about ready. Yeah, we're good to go. Yeah, banana, strawberry, and strawberry. Oh, this! Oh my gosh, the strawberry smells so good, guys. Okay. Let's get one more just because I got the batter for it, although I think that's gonna be too much for me. Okay, this guy's gonna be a, this is gonna be my perfecto, perfecto mundo. decided we're gonna do is we're gonna do a uh, we're doing we're doing syrup and stuff on the side syrup and honey on the side <clears throat> I will I want to I want to regulate my syrup to pancake rate pancake ratio so that's good for the syrup and then actually for the honey I think we're just gonna have, we're gonna have a little dipping guy of honey as well. Man, look. Bangkok. Try some of the crepes somewhere. I've made crepes before. All right. I'll show you guys this. this the final guy. Now that look at that. Look at that. That one. Perfect. Perfect. It took me three times to learn. I think the issue was. I think I needed more batter. There wasn't enough batter for the fruits, you know what I mean? The ratio was all off. Look at that one. That one is a, it's a masterpiece of pancake. Okay, while that's cooking, let's get a little, let's get a little taste while we're over here. Let's get a little, let's get a small little taste while we're here. I don't like to eat like while I'm still cooking, but Oh my god. Oh, so simple, but so good. Oh. Oh, that's so good. Oh my gosh. Guys, go make go make strawberry pancakes right now. Okay, let's try the honey. Let's try the honey. I think honey honey might be too. I might not like the honey. Let's find out.
The honey is still good. The honey is still good, but I don't get compliments as much as the syrup. I don't think it compliments it as much. Here, let's try it without any. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Well, this is going to be too much. I can already tell you this is too many, too many pancakes. Okay. Let's try the banana. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good, especially because it's a little bit darker. This one is good because you get a little bit more of the, like, the burnt pancake flavor. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Look at this guy. This guy is like perfect. That is the perfect strawberry pancake. Let me tell you what. Let me tell you what. Do I have another, do I have another? Yes, I have water ready to go. Oh, I can already tell this is gonna be too sweet for me though. This is a very rich breakfast. Look at this. Flop, perfect, perfect pancake. That's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. Okay, friends, back to... Okay, we're back. Hello. Hello. Let's, let's eat. Did everybody else eat today? Let's share a meal, guys. Let's share a meal. Let's share a meal. I have a lot of real estate on my desk. <laughs> Reading. Chinese for them, nice. Wednesday and Friday streams will be at 10. No, it'll still be at 11 my, it'll still be at 11 my time, Alex. Alex, just shift, just shift everything back one hour for you. Yeah, right? That's how it works, right? Yeah, shift everything back one hour. This lo-fi playlist, it's diff. Lamb, diaphanous potatoes and asparagus, that does sound good. The pancakes came out good. Here, let me, uh, let me show a bite for you all. Look at that. Let's give it a little dip. Does anyone else prefer to dip their stuff in syrup rather than pour over? Oh my God. Strawberry pancakes, hell yeah. This is actually my first time having strawberry pancakes. 
chickpea, tomato, and corn stew. It does sound good. Wow, it's very rich though. I have too many pancakes, friends. Who wants who wants some pancakes? Okay. Should we take a BuzzFeed quiz while we eat? Let's take a BuzzFeed quiz. If you were comfort food, what would you be? That's a good quiz. Uh, let me make this a little bit smaller just so I don't have to like scoot over as much. The majority of people prefer these Disney foods over these Harry Potter foods? Yeah, probably. I'm genuinely curious if you like these 90 classic alternative songs or not. Okay. Could you identify the princesses? Probably not. How do your olive eating habits? Nah. Everyone has a type of cake that matches their personality. Design your dream home to reveal yours. Okay. No syrup. Oh, hey, we got it. Pick your favorite things and we'll tell you what color to paint your room. Okay. If you spend, huh? Which popular book should you read? But we know your exact hair type based on your taste of the underrated. No, you don't. If you had at least 50 of these songs on your iPad, you were true. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pass that one. I can tell you that much already. Okay, which new girl character are you? Okay, we'll start with this one. Which new girl character are you based on the images you're drawn to? First, pick an image. I don't know, it's either between the bubbles or the paint. Will he get Nick Miller? The question on everybody's mind. Mm. We're gonna go with the bubbles. A city to visit, Rome, Hong Kong, Athens, Dubai, Buenos Aires, New York City, Rome. Choose a house. I like the lighting in this one, but I like the pool in this one. We'll go with this one. Now pick some crystals. Okay. Pick a sunset. Oh. 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 This, this is a hard one. Look at all these beautiful sunsets. Pick a cookie. <laughs> these ones. Choose an animal, cat, bird, gorilla, goat, lion, turtle. Pick a rainbow aesthetic photo. Finally, choose a completely random photo. <gasps> oh, <clears throat> I got Winston. Quirky, very determined, someone who loves to have fun. My guess is pranks aren't your thing, but that's okay. <laughs> I got Winston. If you were a comfort food, what would you be? Hold on, let me take a let me take a bite of the pet of the bananas. Hmm. I don't usually like banana things. Describe yourself in one word. Goofy. Pick a city you would move to in a flash. London. Which photo speaks to you? This one. Pick a color. Blue. Pick someone to have a sleepover with. Rebecca, Angela, David, or Peter. I mean, Peter looks like a douchebag. <laughs> so for me, it's either Rebecca or Angela. I don't like how Rebecca's staring at me. But she does have red hair. Guys, help me, help me choose between Rebecca and Angela, please. Please be thorough in your reasoning. Can we write BuzzFeed telling them their quiz is wrong? Yeah, we totally can. We totally can. Guys, help me choose between Rebecca and Angela, please. Friends. Re 
Rebecca for the hair, yeah. I think Angela's cute though, as well. All right, we're going for Rebecca because the hair. Y'all are just some gingers. You just want the gingers together. The background is lovely. I feel like her brows are a little dark, but it's a sleepover. Pick something to wear. Uh, Alex, it's just if you were a comfort food, which would you be? Pick something to wear on a date. Well, these options are stupid. These are the only two options they give you for, for if you want to wear more male-centered clothing. You either just wear, I guess I gotta go with that then. I got hot chocolate. Mm. I'm okay with that. That hot chocolate looks boss. Does it say something underneath the name? Uh, just the photographer. It's a good comfort food to be. I agree. Okay. I'm genuinely curious if you like these 90s alternative songs. I like that song. Uh, I don't. I need to listen to it. I don't want it to get flagged though. Yeah. I don't feel like taking this quiz. You have to be suited and booted. Everyone has a type of cake that matches their personality. Design your dream home to reveal yours. First, pick an exterior. I just like big pools. But I also like lush greenery. I like this one. Pick a living room. I mean, I really like the windows in this, but it's a little too bare. Not this one. This one's a little too like. I, I like that. I really like the windows. Pick a bedroom. Ooh, ooh. Now pick a bathroom. This one, I like space. I like having space. Pick a dining room. Oh my God. How can you not shoot? Look at that view. Pick a dressing room. Well, I feel like these aren't really great for me, especially because these are all like wedding things. It's stupid. Pick an extra room. Ooh, a cafe, a home gym. I gotta go with the library though. I got chocolate cake, okay. You're extremely popular. You make friends wherever you go. Guys, discuss. Discuss. Ooh, carrot cake. I kind of wish I got carrot cake. Pick your favorite things and we'll tell you what color to paint room. Favorite season is summer. Favorite time of day. Afternoon. What's my favorite drink? Water. Favorite fruit? Strawberry. Favorite type of music? Pop, country, rap, rock. Um, I guess between all these. I agree. I don't think it's too controversial. You're very likable moving. Oh, thanks, Carly. Favorite board game? Out of all of these? Monopoly. Favorite breakfast? Eggs. Favorite dessert? Cookies. Malibu peach. Okay. Kind of person I like to, all right, we're good. We're good with, uh, we're good with chocolate cake. If you had at least 50 of these songs, you're a true iPods. Well, the thing is, um, I didn't have, wow, wow. I'm really showing my age here. I had airplanes, fireflies, give you hell. The thing is like, I didn't listen to big time rush. I wasn't listening to Ashley. I think I'm a little too old. I'm a little too old for these. Um, and also my, my music taste in high school wasn't like really poppy. This was like, this is like LimeWire. These, these were all, uh, yeah, I'm not, I had firework. No, I'm not, not even close, not even close. I'm too old. 
Not very swaggy of you, yeah. It's not very swaggy of me, guys. Don't even think about calling yourself a Paul Rudd fan unless you've seen at least half these movies. I don't think I will have seen half these movies. Anchorman. Anchorman 2. Ant-Man. And in the Lost Avengers Endgame. Between Two Ferns. Civil War. Clueless. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Dinner for Schmucks. How do you know? I love you, man. Knocked Up. Night at the Museum. Idiot Brother. Sausage Party, <laughs> Role Models. I'm doing better than I thought, 40 year old version. Great Gatsby. He's been in a lot of movies. I actually haven't seen Perks of Being a Wallflower. Isn't that crazy? One of the last Wet Hot American Summer. Year one. How am I, how am I doing? I'm mid-level, okay, I'm mid, mid-level. Paul Rudd fan. I think that's fair. I think I think I care about him deeply though. I care about him deeply. Take this word association quiz to find out. Okay guys, time to learn a deep truth about me. I'm, a, I'm kind of afraid. What are they gonna tell me? Which word do you most closely associate with dream? Big. What do you associate with peace? Quiet, rest, stillness, happiness, quiet. What comes to mind when you think of strength, power, bravery, muscles, mind? Bravery. Which word do you associate with love? Life, sex, loss, joy. Life. What comes to mind when you think of risk, reward? What word do you most associate with deep, dark, shallow, emotional? Which word do you most associate with bold, loud, brave, bright, fearless? Loud. With time, short, money, free, infinite. Short. Order, chaos, food, rules, command. Command. You got... You're scared of what the future holds. You're a bit apprehensive about what's gonna happen next. Things have been feeling pretty unpredictable lately, and that can be scary. The future will be filled with new opportunities and experience, so be open to these wonderful possibilities. Okay. Okay, BuzzFeed. Okay, BuzzFeed. Can you match these emojis to the crick killing eye characters? Which fast food french fry are you? Okay, this we gotta know. This, this we gotta know. Choose a snack you can't get enough of. Pretzels. I'll eat pretzels all day. I don't need a therapist, I have BuzzFeed. So true, pick a drink. Soda, iced tea, lemonade, water. Ah. Thanks, Victoria. Yeah, they're pretty good. Pick a hobby. Hiking, performing, watching TV, drawing, cooking. Choose an animal. Cheetah, fox, chimpanzee, giraffe, owl, fox. Choose a profession. Writer, doctor, teacher, web developer, music reviewer, teacher. Pick a place to visit. Oh, <laughs> Los Angeles. Tokyo. Pick a comfort meal. Pasta. I got Arby's fry? You're unique, whimsical, and a little feisty. Sometimes people underestimate you, but you don't let that bother you. You're strong and you know you're worth it. You know what? I agree with the description, but do we agree that that description fits an Arby's fry? You, I feel like you gotta be in a certain mood for an Arby's fry, which, you know, maybe that's accurate to say about me. How do you get McDonald's fry? That's what I want to know. Who eats at Arby's though? Yeah. 
I'll have Arby's like maybe once every other year. Okay, only a french fry can match the fry to the fast food. Okay, McDonald's fry. <gasps> Got it. In and out, easy. Burger King. Okay, it might be this one. Might be this one or it might be this one. <gasps> oh my God. Wendy's, okay, I don't know Wendy's. Is it this one? Oh, which one was Wendy's? Uh, okay. Popeyes, I don't eat a lot of pot. Oh, it's this one though. Five Guys, uh, this one? White Castle, I've never been to White Castle in my life. Wow. KFC, I don't think I've ever gotten fries from KFC. Which one was it? Oh, it was that one, that makes sense. Jack in the Box, okay, this one. Which one was it? That one's not even in a thing. Checkers, what the fudge is checkers? Arby's, okay. Buffalo Wild Wings. Whataburger, Sonic, Hardee's. Okay, well, I, f I feel good. I feel good about the ones I picked for me. Can you name which 10 these iconic 10? No. Secret power according to your birth chart. Okay. Sun sign, moon size, rising. Uh, what is my Mercury? Uh, guys, do you guys remember where I posted the thing, my chart? Oh wait, hold on, I have it, I have it, I think I have it saved on my phone. You don't have checkers, yeah, I don't even know what checkers is, Woodley. Okay, my Mercury is... How do I, how do I figure this out? Oh, my Mercury's in Leo. Okay. My Venus is Libra. I know that one. My Mars is Gemini. My Jupiter is Scorpio. I don't even know what Jupiter is. Saturn is Pisces. Uranus is Capricorn. Neptune is also Capricorn. Pluto, oh, I'm a healer. Don't worry, I didn't give you the most boring power. You're able to heal everyone, including yourself, but you can inflict pain on others. You can feel what others feel like, incredibly strong empathy. Okay. Kind of hard to disagree with. Checkers are better than Chick-fil-A. <laughs> I don't know anything about K-pop. Which side do you fall on these absolute classic debates? Okay. Dogs or cats? This is tough. This is tough. I've never, but I've never had a cat, so. Waffles or pancakes? Okay. With the exception of today, I think waffles when you're just having it by yourself, pancakes when you're having it with a meal. So I'm gonna go with pancakes. Oh. Hot chocolate or coffee? Coffee. Mornings or evenings? Mornings. Text or call? Call. Summer, summer. Books or movies? Books. Chocolate? Easily. Wow, 50-50 on the chocolate vanilla, wow. Hamburgers or hot dogs? Hamburgers. Gold or silver? Silver. Oh wow, I didn't think silver would get more, wow. Froyo. Tacos or fajitas? Tacos. Sweet or salty? Salty. Wow, 50-50. Oh, shower or tub? Shower. Breakfast or dinner? Breakfast. New York. All right. You're either 100% Hannah Matata or 100% Miley Cyrus. Tell us how many adult tasks you know how to do and we'll guess if you're in your teens, 20s, or 30s. Okay. Check out everything you can do without asking from someone for help. I mean, I can do my 
oil if I want to. I feel like I'm keeping my plants alive. Wow. I'm in my 30s. Those were pretty easy tasks though. You check 32 out of 30, but you're in your 30s. Other than that, you're just fiercely independent and responsible. Guys, some of these are so easy. You can't book and you can't follow a recipe. Can't send a fax. Sending a fax is easy. You like, you just put it in the machine and then you you just type the number. You can e send fax these days. Mop the floor. Who can't mop the floor? Boil pot. You can't boil pasta. Come on. Clean the lint out of a dryer. You're telling me you can't take the thing out and go like shloop. Can do most of these things. Yeah, we're we're we got we got some issues. Uh, what am I eating? I'm eating strawberry and banana pancakes. We know how old you are based on how you'd live a day in 2011. Okay. You choose up, choose a song to get ready to. Party anthem, born this way, tonight, tonight. Ooh. What are you doing with your hair? Nothing. Pick something to spice up your outfit of t-shirt and skinny jeans. Just my high tops, baby. Grab your phone before you leave. In, in 2011, I was a junior. So I actually had like, I would have had something similar to this or this. Similar to that. Pick a movie to go see with your friends. Moneyball, Thor, Sucker Punch. Uh, we probably would have went, we probably would have went to go see something like, like Contagion. What movie sequel makes you and all your friends, oh, this. I was there for the midnight premiere, are you kidding me? That was actually, I think that was in 2011, actually. Two thousand eleven. What I fucking say? What I literally fucking say? Pick a song you belt in the car with your friends. None of these. None of these. But I guess if we have to guess, we're gonna go with that. None of those. Where's the Katy Perry? Watch a series premiere from your DVR when you get home. None of these. None of these. I guess American Horror Story, the first season. Not Stereo Hearts? Nah. I don't even know that song off the top of my head. Download an app and you play while watch. Well, it's 2007, so... I guess, I feel like I was doing some, uh... Maybe Plants for Zombies? About to watch a video, a viral video before bed. It's probably Friday. Okay, 20 to 25, we're almost there. Almost there, I'm 26. Not Team Wolf, how dare you. I didn't have DVR, guys. I didn't have DVR. What do you think this is? Some rich person household? I don't fucking think so. When I was younger, my dad used to record shows. For those of you that don't know, before DVR, you could, you would basically record a program in real time onto a VHS tape. That's what my dad used to do for us. That's the kind of person my dad is. He would stay up. He had to be up at like 5 or 6 a.m. every single day. But since he knew we really liked Dragon Ball Z, he would record it. And I want to say it was like from like maybe 10 to 11 or 11 to midnight. And I didn't find this VH test. I found this VHS tape years later when I was home sick one day. I was just going through our VHS tapes. And the man had recorded like 15 episodes or maybe like six or seven episodes and just never told us about it. That's such like a dad thing, my dad thing to do. Like go out of his way to like do something nice, but then fucking tell nobody about it. (laughs) 
days of our lives on VHS tapes, yeah. All right, well, I didn't plan for this to be just a just chatting stream, but here we are. Dragon Aries needs to hit 300 damage to win this. Here we are. It was a good time. I'd like to get him VIP tickets to a concert or something if, it's panini, if this panini wasn't happen. <laughs> yeah, it's such a dad move. It's such a dad move. Okay, friends. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna end it here because I gotta clean the kitchen and all that soil on the table is like gnawing in the back of my head. Deep talks, good food. A plus stream. A plus. Okay. Let's get a raid going, my friends. We're gonna pass you all over to Meg, who is always great vibes. Thank you all for hanging out with me today. Thank you for everybody that shared. Thank you for everybody that just kind of hung out and chatted as we built intimacy together. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, we will be live again Wednesday at 3 p.m. Pacific. Please account for daylight savings time um, because I'm now an hour earlier. So if your time did not change... I'm now going to be an hour earlier for you. So thanks for hanging out, guys. We will, next week, we will definitely play some Walking Dead and we will finish up Little Nightmares 2 as well. And uh, thanks for hanging out. Um, and then, yeah, I don't think next week, but maybe the following week, we might try different schedules. Kind of want to see what like a morning week would be like. Maybe adding in like a later night week as well. Maybe doing like a kind of stream or a tipsy stream or something like that um and then come next month uh i think i'm gonna just change some of the overlays a little bit clean some stuff up maybe relook at the incentives again uh and also just like evaluating evaluating uh twitch in my life and that kind of stuff but thank you all for being here and i will see you all very soon see you next week